Hi, I'm Greg from Greg's Heating and Plumbing. This is a short video basically to show you how to repressurize, refill your combi system. On most modern combi boilers, you'll have a pressure gauge like this one on the right hand corner, which goes from 0 to 5 bar. Now, to sort of simplify that, an ideal pressure setting is where the pointer is pointing just over 1 bar, ideally between 1 and 1.5 and bars. In some instances, due to faults on your system, i.e. Uh, a, a small weep on a pipe which you might, might not detect because um, it's down b below some floorboards, or just a small weep on, on one of your, your radiator valve sets, uh, will cause this pressure to drop. Now once it gets down below between 1 and 0 bars, most combi boilers will cut, cut off. Um, thus, you have to call an engineer out, um, which really is an unnecessary thing um, because it's quite simple for you to fill the system yourself, as I'm going to show you. Basically, underneath the boiler, you'll have um, a filling loop similar to this one, which is a, a braided filling loop like this, which goes between your cold feed and your return feed on the heating system. Uh, the idea of it having an isolation valve is that you don't want cold water flowing into your central heating system permanently because it will overpressurize it and it will blow joints on your pipe work. So it, it, it is something that you just have to turn on and off yourself. Uh, on this, in this instance we have a black isolation knob which I simply turn watching the, uh, the pressure gauge till I get just, in this case, just above one bar and I turn it off. In some other cases, you might have an isolation valve which you have to operate by a screwdriver. Now, I hope this was an informative video to you and it can solve your problems in repressurizing and refilling. Thank you for viewing my video today. Goodbye.